Hey guys, it's Nick the Booksmith. Welcome back, welcome back. <sighs> I hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> A big old sigh. I'm sorry that I dropped out on you last week and the whole sale got postponed and it's just all a mess. My husband developed a complication with his surgery, so I had to get a hold of the surgeon and it was, you know, it was wow. But crisis averted, I am back on track. It took me a minute, but I'm back on track. So I hope everybody is doing okay. I hope you are enjoying the summer such as it is. But I wanted to show you some of the new stuff that is coming up for the sale, both Etsy and Teachable. So let me show you what's up at Teachable real quick. There will be a new book uploaded, a little, little miniature book to print out and make. This one is going to be a children's primer on the inside. So it's kind of adorable. It has a wide range of colored photographs and it's, well, it's just adorable. So it isn't a huge book. So all of you newbies that have never made one before, this one will be a little bit less extensive as far as collating your, your papers, which the class shows you how to do, but it's less papers <laughs> and less pages. So maybe, maybe you'll enjoy this book as well. I've been meaning to do a children's book and I thought a primer would be a great place to start. So this will be loaded up along with a page of book covers that you can put on the front of your books. I happen to make my own little cover. I just covered it in some book cloth and then I made this little inset. So that is also something that will be taught there will be a little recipe card that goes with this book that shows you how I made the cover inset. Sound good? Okay, so that's it, Teachable. The Teachable sale will be the same time as the Etsy sale. No coupon code, no discount code, no holding your left leg up for 30 seconds and reciting Mary Had a Little Lamb. You, you don't have to do any of that. It's just gonna be there. <laughs> Just be loaded up during the time period that the sale is going. And I will put on each teachable course, the first part of the info page will say, this is the sale price. And then when the sale is over and I take it back to the regular price, I'll remove that part. So if you just wanna check, okay, is this the sale price? Just look at the info page. It'll say that it's, that it's the sale price. Okay, so cute primer. Okay, there are lots of kits going up on at the Etsy store, and some of them um, are ones that huh, some of you have been waiting a long time. Sorry, but I did get my act together, and I got them. I mean, I've had them ready for actually quite a while, and printed, and huh, yeah. So this is a page of labels, and it is bookmakers, booksellers, and bookbinders, and there are 35 labels on on a printable page. So a slew, a veritable plethora of different bookbinder, bookmaker, and bookseller labels to use. Cute, right? There are also some new journal cards and this one is called Painterly Ladies and they print out to be approximately three and a half by five and they are just Victorian ladies in like watercolor. Beautiful, watery, but kind of purpley tones. Kind of pretty, kind of pretty. There will be these. There are also uh, six new pages of apothecary, pharmacy, druggist, chemist labels. This is one of them. This one is some of the warning labels that, this is one of the pages. I have separated the pages up into bundles of two that correlate together. And this page was actually printed on an A4 size piece of cardstock. I just wanted to show you that even though it was designed as US letter size, you can print on A4 paper just as well. There will be a little bit more of a margin top and bottom, but that's about it. 
uh, your printer may try to squeeze in the image, just it is incremental. We're talking binky binky, tiny little, little amount. All that information will be with the kits. It'll be loaded up as a printing info, extra little infographic with the kits in case you wanted to be able to print just on A4 paper. And of course you can print on A4 paper anyway, even just right click and print, you can print on A4 paper. So these are kind of cool. Um, I love, this is one of my favorite pages. There's Belladonna on here and Laudanum, Ugh, just some cool stuff. So um, I like these little, these little warning labels that go along with it. So that's one of the, one of the pages. And then, and then there is a new series that is being loaded up onto Etsy. And let me set that aside for now. And it is called the World Traveler series. And there are six sets so far in the World Traveler oh, white paper. Okay. Yeah. You too can print white paper. <laughs> So this one is part of the Persia kit, and this one is part of the Marrakesh kit, but I wanted to print some out so I could show you the different projects. So each of these World Traveler kits, and there is, like I said, there's six of them. So there's Chang'an, Calais, Oxford, Marrakesh, and Persia. Is that all of them? No, there's one more. <laughs> Venice. So there are five pages for each of these World Traveler kits. One of them is a tall pocket folder. Uh, there is a large file folder. There is the cash envelope, and it has the little, the little circles that you can use if you want to put those on with brads and I'll, I'll let you decide if you want to use those or not, but they are there to print out if that is something that, that you would like to add to your, your envelope. And then the other page is a pair of small file folders. They're just basically the miniature version to this one. But what's kind of cool about this, these sets too is that they, they come with a background image that can be printed onto the reverse side of any of these project pages. And what's nice about that is that you don't see any white in the back. And I created these pages so that the project fits inside the same boundary that the background pages fit in. So even if you have a printer that doesn't do the duplex printing where it pulls it back in and it prints on the opposite side for you, let's say you just have to print the front side of something and then you have to go over to the printer and flip it over and feed it back in. I made this a full page so that it will print on the back side of, of the entire project on this side. So you don't have to worry about lining things up or or anything like that. Uh, and also these these two print onto A4 sized paper stock if that is a preference for you. So like I said, there are six different World Traveler sets at the moment. And um, I've got a few more in the works, but I'm not sure if they're gonna be ready for the sale. So I'm, I'm not gonna mention them, <laughs> but I hope you like them. It's, it's basically a stationary set that you can use in all kinds of ways. So like the cash envelope would make an excellent addition to if you're a junk journal maker and you want some little extra pockets, but you know, some sophisticated design. I, I adore anything Persian. So this was, this was right up my alley. So I, I hope you like this. But what a great idea also to use these for gift giving because money or a check will fit inside of these. So you could use this as a gorgeous card. You could stick a little, little white label on here and write a person's name on there if you wanted to. That would be cute. Uh, these two would make great cards for gift giving for giving money or checks because of their shape and size as well. But of course you could also use this as an insert in a traveler's notebook. You could bind this in uh, or you could punch holes and put it in a three ring 
binder as an insert, something like that, or you could also put it in with, under the elastics in like a Midori style as well. So that, and then this one too, I don't know if this would fit in a traveler's notebook, but it would fit maybe in a planner. So if you got a three ring binder or something a little, a little wider than that. This one is, I believe it finishes out to be five and a half by almost seven and three quarters. And I like to, when I, when I score and fold these, I like leave a little bit of this edge showing. So it is, it is scored not exactly in half. There we go. Maybe, maybe that helps. That this side is just a bit shorter, a little, little shy of half than this so that when it's folded, but you can, you can do whatever you want. Maybe you want this side lower than this side. I, I'll let you make that distinction. That will be, that'll be up to you. I'm not your mom, but these are the little ones. I had scissors. Story of my life. So you can just kind of fold it and see where it is you're going to want that to set. And that will be up to you. And I'm just going to mark it on one side, which is a little bit of a bend. And then that way I can put it in my scoreboard. And find that spot. And there you go. Now the, this side, this side, the pattern side, it has an inked edge effect on this side. You'll pre probably might be able to see that a little bit darker of an edge on this side. But because the back side, I didn't want it, I didn't want you to have to line it up and, and worry about that kind of stuff. I did not do that to this side. So if you choose, you can just take a little bit of ink if you wanted to make that side not so pristine. The, this background image, every, every kit has its own background image, but the background image is coordinates with all of the project pages so that you can print it on the back side of any of them and it will look lovely. So there you go, pretty just a little bit of ink there and then there is your little tiny adorable ugh, file folder. These smaller ones would also make great cards, like gift cards, just shy of four inches by just a pinch over five. You're welcome to resize any of my images if you have the capability, if you have the know-how to resize, go for it. But these would make adorable greeting cards, I think, to send or to use with gifts. Okay, so that is the World Traveler Stationery kit series. They will be up. Another th a couple of things that I wanted to show you. This is also another one of the two page kits and this is an income receipts folder pocket. It prints out into on two sides. So you can, this is the, this is of course the front side and it gets folded in half and it has these little tabs that you can fold in so that it makes a it makes a little pocket folder. And then it also comes with a background, which is a crackled manila looking background. It is inked on on this side, but on the other side it is not. So, you can print this out and then print this on the back. I left the tabs a little bit. You can see they're a little bit longer or wider than the background. I just was lazy, but you can tr you can trim those off that white, but you won't see it because it's it'll be folded in and <laughs> glued. But these also would be adorable in, in a planner or bound into a book. It has these little holes that you're supposed to punch. You don't have to punch those if you don't want to. I think they look kind of cute, but you don't you don't have to punch them. But it is a it's a cute little folder. So I hope you hope you like this one. Like I said, it comes with two images, the front and the back. And then something that I had been working on for a while 
is a book label kit. Let me, let me scoot in a little bit here. So this kit is for, especially for those of you with die cut machines, because what this kit comes with is a an SVG or PNG or JPEG, all three files come with it, versions, of some book labels, some book cover labels, the metal labels that you can use on the front of a book. There are four styles four shapes, four designs. What I did, this is heavy card stock. It is, I think, 110 pound. This is the craft. And as you can see, I also used black. But this prints out as 20 labels. There are four of each design. So what I do is I glue two together, two layers together to make a sturdier label holder. Then that way you'd have eight labels even if you doubled them up, you'd still have eight labels out of every piece of paper. This happens to be eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock. In, in the design software that comes with all the die cut machines, at least it does with the Cricut, you can resize that as big or as small as you want. But with the kit comes the little, the little information that shows you the exact size to size it so that it comes out like this. Because for some ungodly reason, Cricut, please tell me, when you open up a file in Design Space, it's like shoo, massive. It's ginormous. It's like, why don't you just open it up in the scale in which it was uploaded? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There, there might be a setting somewhere. I, I don't know. But if you notice, so here are the labels. Get my fingers underneath one here. Then they have these little, the little negative off cuts. Don't throw these away because I also glued two of these together and then I just used a little bit of a hole punch and I punched a hole and I made a bunch of little tags that could be utilized in all kinds of ways. These are black, of course. <laughs> You're like, really, Nick, those are black? Yes, they're black. Um, so the ones that I were playing with were, were black ones. But um, as you can see, I used some copper paint and I painted this one just a dirty patina copper. This one I, I stamped on with some old letterpress numbers, made it kind of a silver so it looks like an aluminum tag. And then this one, I didn't punch a hole in it to be a tag. I kind of messy painted it with some acrylic paint. And I think this one is the craft underneath there. Then I rubbed some black paint on the top, kind of dry brushed a little bit of black paint around just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then I took just some gold acrylic paint and I dry brushed that around the edge, what I think this would be cool for, you could have a small book plate or you could shape this a little bit and put it on a spine. You could use these to label basically anything. So don't throw the off cuts away because you could do all kinds of stuff with them. With the regular label labels that I glued two together, I just painted them with some acrylic paint and some of them I went ahead and pre-punched some holes for some brads but you don't have to. They look great, not punched, and you could still put this on the top of a book without putting any holes in it or putting any brads through it or anything like that. And it comes with a page of little titles for uh, your the front of your books or albums or planners or whatever that fit inside the negative space. They have a white background, so you can print them on anything you'd like these. I printed on a sheet of tea stained paper so it's very economical to print and then you can trim them down to fit inside whichever of the labels you want. All the labels have the exact same inside negative cutout so but some of them are a little bit bigger like this one is a little bit shorter this way. They're a little bit smaller and then this is one that I did with the craft cardstock and I glued two together and then I took some distress ink and inked it up. And I punched holes in the corners and put some brads through it and then I used some of my printable uh, marbled paper. And it was just a scrap that I had and then I put my name on top of that for kind of a layered effect. So you don't have to like fill it with just a blank piece of paper or just a title. You can, there's all kinds of things you could do inside there. 
These would be awesome on the front of file cabinets if you wanted to label things. You could leave the top open so you could slide in different, different labels behind it. And then this one was just painted with some gold acrylic paint. I also painted over the brads and then I just put one of the, one of the labels in there. So I hope you like this kit, especially those of you with die cut machines. This kit was specifically made for those of you that have die cut machines. Okay, I think that's it. I think that's it for the moment, except the globe, the kit itself should be loaded up. I don't know if I'll have the construction, the last construction video finished. I'm also working on that. <laughs> I got my chess pieces from Renee. Thank you, Renee. You are an angel. They're gonna work great. They're perfect. They're better than any of the ones I had. These are incredible. They're, like, they're, they're awesome. You zoom back out a little bit, cause wow, I'm up in your face. So I'm, I'm gonna get on that. It's still sitting here. Like, it's still, it's still sitting here. It's ready to rock and roll. So I will get. I have everything sitting here. I just need to, just need to get it, get my act together. Let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. So everything will be loaded up at Etsy and Teachable for the sale, which will start this Friday at midnight. So it's actually. Thursday night into Friday. So when Thursday night hits midnight and becomes Friday morning, that's when it starts. <laughs> I can set that up with Etsy for it to start right then. I cannot set that up with Teachable to start at that moment. So it'll probably actually start before I go to bed on Thursday night. <laughs> so don't worry about it. And it will go all through the weekend, all the way through to midnight on Monday night when Monday turns into Tuesday. And of course, this is my time zone, which is mountain time in the US. So if you don't know when that is, go to World Clock website. I'll put the link below. It will it will tell you what, de what mountain time, Denver time is, as opposed to your time. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna let you go for now because I'm gonna go finish up and get the rest of these kits loaded up and get the mini book loaded up for the bookish minutia class and get all that ready to rock and roll for the sale. Thank you all so very much for being so patient. You're all so patient. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate all of you so very much. I hope to see you really soon. You should be seeing me really soon because I got stuff to show you. There's like a pile. It's like racking up. There's, there's piles of stuff to show you. So we will go and we'll do some stuff. I hope everybody is having a great week and I will see you all really, really soon in the next video. Bye guys.